Let me show you how I created this amazing octopus killer photo manipulation. Obviously, first thing that I did is to extract the model out of the background because this is so boring and tedious process, I fast forward it. All right, the next thing here is to put a background and I use this pier, let's stretch it a little bit, this dock right there and I just, I'm just lowering the horizon here, let's make it bigger. And basically, let's rename this. Okay, and rename this to, perfect. Okay, let's delete the background file. Okay, so here, let's press Control Command T and lower it, maybe down. Yeah, something like that and make it bigger. So to better fit the model on that background because um, it's not 100% perfect, but I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, now that we have a model, and the background, let's add a shadow. For shadow, I'm using the color, I will sample the color from the pier and then put in multiply blending mode and basically just draw the shadow. By the way, my friends at photomanipulation.com has released amazing free stock bundle with 100 high-res stock photos and one of the models that I'm using today is from that bundle. Let me show you quickly what the bundle contains. So as you can see right here, there are so many different characters, different heroes that you can use for your photo manipulation. And also these are high resolution photos that you can use. There are different topics, different themes like fantasy, horror, action, sci-fi. There are also a lot of CGI models here that you can use, different poses, different things, and it's pretty cool, especially that it's completely free and all you need to do is to follow the link down there in the description and just, just download this, the, that bundle. This is the, probably the biggest stock bundle that has ever been given away for free. So as you can see, there are so many options, so many things that you can use and do with the, the bundle right here. And uh, also, I was, thinking about which photo should I use for today's episode, but obviously I stick with this one. So let's let's use this photo and let's continue. First, uh, that I want to do here is to use hue and saturation adjustment layer to lower the saturation here on the background because it's a little bit too saturated. I don't want that. And also what I want to do is to blur the background a little bit. So let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur like this. And this is just one of the ways how you can blur uh, your background, how to create that depth. So I'm using something like 19 for this and I will use this mask and really soft brush and just brush out the parts that I don't want to be blurred. So in this way I'm creating kind of depth and also brushing out a little bit more parts, basically lowering the blur amount uh, here and there. Okay, this is one way. Let me show another way. Let's copy this, Control command j and uh, remove the effect. Let's delete this uh, Gaussian blur, okay. And now I will go to filter and the blur gallery, field blur. So here it is, it's it, okay. And I'm just putting these pins in different places to create different uh, amount of blur on different parts of the images, of the image, and this is it. This is, hmm, this is really cool. This is Gaussian blur, this is field blur. I prefer the field blur effect, so I'm deleting the Gaussian blur. All right, so this is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's go and add some tentacles here. This is one of few that I want to add in the front of the camera, so I'm uh, fast forwarding this. And basically, I'm making them bigger and adding Gaussian blur, so to have that effect that they are closer to the camera, out of focus, and they are preparing to attack our hero. Okay, so now that I have them all here. I will group all of them, Control command g make a group and add hue and saturation adjustment layer at the top. So let's change the color a bit and make it darker. Actually, mm, no, I will, I will use exposure adjustment layer like this and uh, clip it to affect only the group and I will make it darker. And now I will fast forward this because I will just use a brush and paint out the, uh, the lights here. If you don't know how to paint the light, you can check out my video on the link right there and uh, learn how to do light painting on your photos. So the color is pretty nice. And this is it, I'm fast forwarding this now. Basically, I'm just painting the lights.
Okay, so this is it. I'm pretty happy with this. Let's add an octopus behind the model. Oops, not here. So let's delete it. Let's go down. Tentacles model. Let's group this. Name it model. Okay. And uh, group this name background. Okay. And now I want to add the octopus right here. So let's drag it into the screen. And I want to make it bigger. Pretty big, actually. Mm, something like this looks nice. Mm, maybe. Maybe here. A little bit to the left, maybe now. Mm, oops. Okay, something like that and make it even bigger. Uh, yeah. Mm, okay, let's name this octopus. Okay, and make it even bigger like this. So this is pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe just move it a little bit up. Mm, okay, so I want to, hmm. Yeah, I, I want to make a mask on the octopus definitely. So let's let's do that. Let's create a mask and let's hide everything except the background image basically. So this and tentacles. And now I want to use a quick selection tool. Let's let's remove the blur effect temporarily and quick selection tool. Come on, Q on the keyboard. Okay, and just quickly select the dock here and like that, you can see it's pretty easy, pretty fast. It doesn't need to be 100% precise, but it's pretty cool. You will see later that I will cover this with a few other elements. Okay, now let's go to bring all the elements back and let's go to octopus mask. Okay, right here and just fill it with the black. So like that, perfect. And let's Unzoom this. Let's bring back all the elements. Blur. Okay. And I'm pretty happy with this. Now let's let's uh, add some green tint on the octopus. So for that, I'm going to use just a second. This. I'm copying the same concentration adjustment layer from the tentacles here, and this is pretty cool. Now let's rename this octopus. Okay. And uh, I will just do the same light painting on the octopus because this is now crazy. So basically I'm hiding everything. I want to go into the octopus group and add exposure adjustment layer. Fast forward this again. Okay, so this is it. Let's bring back everything on and uh, let's see. All right, the background. Let's make the background a little bit more contrasty with the curves adjustment layer. And basically, let's let's make the S curve. Let's see. Hmm. Let's do the before and after. Before and after. Maybe it's too bright. So let's bring this a bit down and. I'm pretty happy with this. All right. Now let's this to mist. Actually, let's go. Oops. Mi, come on. Mist. Smoke. Okay. So this is pretty cool. And now I will use my custom made uh, Clouda smoke brush for this. And I will just fast forward this and make uh, the smoke behind the model. So just using that. Also, I want to make this another layer of the smoke in the front of the model. So I'm just making a little bit more smoke in the front model and another in the front of the tentacles just to cover a bit of the tentacles in the smoke. Okay, not bad. Let me see. Hmm. Pretty nice. Right, let's bring another element here. And this is the crazy fire element that I want to use here. You will see in a moment. Let's break it bigger. Move a little bit up, down, 
Uh, okay, here. And mm, it's behind the smoke. I don't like it. Let's let's put in a screen blending mode. Let's see. Yeah, it's not visible. Let's bring it above the smoke. This is much better. Let's control command T, make it bigger. Like that. Maybe a little bit narrow. Mm, no. Okay. Move it here. This is this is pretty good. So what I want to do now is I want to add levels. Let's go to the levels, clip it to affect only the, the fire. And I want to clip it a little bit to remove a few elements from the scene. So mid-tones also. Let's see. This is just a matter of uh, trial and error, see what you like. So basically I'm going to the fire element, go to the blur, Gaussian blur, and let's choose the amount of blur. Hmm. 10, it's pretty much okay, but let's go with the hue and saturation adjustment layer. And also I want to change the hue to that green tone. This is pretty nice. Okay. And let's go. I don't like this, this effect, how it looks. Maybe if I unblur it a little bit. Mm, okay, it's better, but I want it more blur. So let's see, let's bring it back. Oh, this is too much. Let's put it something like this and let's go to the levels again and let's play with the sliders here. So let's remove the black and yeah, this is much better and let's go to with the midtones. Okay, black and let's go with the highlights, boost the highlights a bit. This is much better and let's see, I don't want to clip black, see what happens. We are losing the integrity of the shape, so this is good. And now what I like to do, let's go to the mask and let's use a brush. So here and just brush out a few parts that I I don't want to be visible here. Like that. Perfect. A few more here, a little bit down. Okay. This is cool. And now let me see. Let's go with the saturation, boost it up, and I want to change the hue a bit to nail the color. This looks pretty good. Mm, if I boost the highlights, let's see. Wow, I have a glow effect. That's cool. Let's unzoom it. Ooh, this is looking really cool. But this is not what I want to create here. So this is a crazy amount of... Uh, brightness so basically I just want a little bit like some kind of uh, I don't know some kind of splashes from the octopus or kind of octopus blood or whatever you can imagine whatever you want but it's really cool right now I want to create a mask face mask for the model so let's go where is the model here now let's create a new layer and it's already clipped so put it in multiply blending mode sample the color let's go with a hard brush like 80 or so percent Sample the color here and I'm basically fast forwarding this now, just painting a mask. Okay, this is really, really cool. Let's add another element here. This is a bullet from the gun. And oops, let's make it smaller. Let's unzoom it. Make it smaller. Like that, probably. Let's check with the gun. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's center it. I'm holding shift and moving it up. That's pretty cool. And now what I want to do is to use my custom made cloud of smoke brushes and one of them and just create a trail from the smoke. Just some cool effect here. Basically, I'm fast forward this and I will just add several colors. Green, actually orange, uh, red and uh, yellow and white. Okay. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's merge everything together. Shift Control T or Shift Command Option E. Right click, convert to smart object. And let's go to the filter. 
camera filter and let's play here a little bit with the settings. So let's go to the basics and I will just add a contrast, boost the shadow a little bit, lower the blacks, go with the clarity and texture. Okay. And I want to boost the vibrance, but saturation a little bit down, not like that. Okay. Let me see. Let's add the vignette. So I love that. Right. And let's see with, what, with calibration tab, what we can do here. And after some tweaking here and there, this is my final result. Let me know down there in the comments below what you think about this photo manipulation. And don't forget to check out the link in the description to download this amazing free stock bundle with 100 high resolution photos completely free. As I already said, it's free. So just go download it and create some really cool photo manipulation using that. And also, if you like this episode, press the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already. And also ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. See you next week in next fun episode. Bye bye.